I'm a mountain bike pioneer, but I'm also someone that's very interested in bikes and people and the interface and having a lot of fun on bikes and the power of bikes, what bikes bring us, we in society. Okay, this new bike is a Superfly 100. And you know what this thing is? This is rocket science. It is a rocket ship. This thing goes really, really fast. This is, and I'm a little biased, but let me tell you honestly, this is the fastest mountain bike anyone has ever produced. In this torsional way, extremely stiff. It's much stiffer than it should be for such a light piece. But what that does is it makes this structure extremely efficient laterally. So when you put pressure on the pedals to go forward, the bike actually wants to transmit that motion to the rear wheel and propel you down the trail rather than move sideways um, and really kind of lose your momentum. You shall be spoiled because this bike is outrageous. The bike has a great combination of pedaling efficiency but big bump compliance. So if you're looking for aggressive terrain, big hits. A couple hours in on this Fisher Superfly 100 and it is a step above. It's just an incredible piece. The thing climbs, it descends, it does everything that you need a bike like this to do. Well, I'll tell you, the thing I noticed right off the bat was just the power transfer. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible. You put power to the pedal and this thing is going. This bike is by far the nicest thing I've ridden lately. Yeah, I mean, this bike handles like no other bike out there. I mean, it is just fantastic going uphill, We've got, a, we've got a shock that has a pro pedal setting on it that allows us to climb locked out in that shock. It is just an incredible bike. Coming downhill, the compliance of this bike, you know, partially as a result of the proprietary shocks, but as well as the, the carbon fiber, is just absolutely incredible. And then you come up to a little climb right here, and all locked out, it's just boom, you're just up gone yeah there's no problems um i just can't see this thing really being a problem anywhere with the bigger wheels rougher terrain these things roll right through it you throw in there four inches of travel in the bigger wheels i mean it's a it's a race machine for sure your engine gary's machine incredible stuff 